In the previous lecture, um, we discussed how to use Gauss quadrature to integrate a function um, on the integration domain from negative 1 to 1. Today we're going to extend this to use uh, Gauss quadrature to integrate a function g of z uh, whose integration limits are uh, 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 starting from point A to point B. So the idea is to convert this function to into another function whose integration limits are from negative 1 to 1. So in order to do this, we're going to linearly transform z to x. We can do this by forming a relationship where um, we can say that z minus a over b minus a is equal to x minus negative 1 divided by 1 minus negative 1. So this makes a relationship between z and x. And so now we can have a relationship such that z is equal to b minus a multiplied by x plus b plus a divided by 2, where b and a are the integration limits of the function that I would like to integrate. So b and a are the integration limits of the function g of z that I would like to integrate. Because I'm integrating, I'm also interested in dz, the relationship between dz and dx is given by uh, the following. dz is equal to b minus a divided by 2 multiplied by dx. So now I can convert the integration. If I want to integrate the function g of z from a to b, I'm going to replace z with x giving, given this relationship. And I'm going to replace dz with dx given this relationship. When I substitute, I get the um, relationship uh, that you see in front of you, where now the integration limits are between negative 1 and 1. So here's an example. We'd like to integrate the function x multiplied by e power x on the interval from 0 to 3. And we'd also like to find the absolute relative error if a Gauss 1, 2, 3, and 4 integration point scheme is uh, used. So we have g of z is equal to z uh, multiplied by e power z. So we are going to uh, just um, because we, we have um, restricted x and f of x to our Gauss quadrature uh, method. So we're going to assume that this function is a function of z and we'll set g of z as equal to z multiplied by e power z. Let's find the exact integral. Uh, we can uh, do this because this function, uh, we, we have the closed form solution for the integration. And when we do this, you can use this, uh, you can do this using Mathematica, or uh, you can do this by hand. The integral, the exact integral from zero to three of the function z multiplied by e power z is equal to 41.1711. So now I'm going to uh, use the function that we, uh, uh, introduced in the previous slide, the integral of g of z from a to b is equal to the integral from negative 1 to 1, g of z, but I'm going to replace z with x, multiplied by dz, now I'm going to replace dz with b minus a over 2 multiplied by dx. g of this term is equal to, uh, just let, let's look back at g of z, g of z is equal to z multiplied by e of z, and so whatever I put here is, uh, I put z multiplied by e power z, and so g of this term is equal to this term. b minus a divided by 2, b is 3, a is 0, so 3 minus 0 divided by 2, is equal to 3 over 2. Now this last uh, term or this whole term uh, inside the, um, the integral is the function f of x that now I can use the Gauss quadrature to integrate. All right, so I just wrote, uh, rewrote the expression here. The integral from 0 to, th to 3 of uh, z power e of z is equal to this, uh, the integral of this function uh, uh, integrated from negative 1 to 1 um, 
and the, the, the uh, over x. So as a reminder, what uh, Gauss quadrature, so if I want to use Gauss quadrature with one point, that the integration point is, uh, the, is when x is equal to 0, and the associated weight is 2. And so to use one integration point, uh, the numerical integration is equal to a weight multiplied by the value of the function evaluated at one point. This point is uh, x is equal to 0, and so 2 multiplied by f of, of 0. So this is my function that I'd like to uh, now uh, substitute x is equal 0 inside. And so when I substitute x is equal to 0, I will get this expression, which is equal to 20.1676. And as you can see, the relative error, when I, multiply, when I um, look at the exact integral minus the numerical integral divided by the exact integral, the relative error is 0 0.51, showing that one integration point um, is very inaccurate to integrate uh, this function. If I use two integration points, uh, two integration points, uh, uh, the, the, to use Gauss quadrature with two integration points, the numerical in integral is equal to uh, w1 multiplied by f1 plus w2 multiplied by f2. The w's for two integration points, uh, each of these are equal to 1, and the value of x is equal to um, x1 is equal to negative the square root of 1 over 3, and x2 is equal to the positive square root of 1 over 3. And so the value of the function, this is my function, substitute uh, the value of x, so I have the value of x1 is 1 over root 3, uh, sorry, x1 is negative 1 over root 3, and the value of x2 is positive uh, square root of 1 over 3, Adding those two expressions will give 39.607. Looking at the relative error, it's 0 0.038, which is about 3.8%. That is uh, very accurate using just two integration points. As a reminder, if I had used any of the other uh, previously uh, uh, presented integration methods, I would use way more points to be able to get such high accuracy. Here, I'm evaluating the function only twice, once at x power negative 1 over root 3, once at x power uh, uh, square root of 1 over 3, and I'm getting already very high accuracy, just two integration. If I use three integration points, the associate weights are 5 over 9, 8 over 9, 5 over 9. The corresponding integration points are negative 0. Uh, negative square root of 0 0.6, 0, and square root of 0 0.6. So, the Gauss integration with three integration points is equal to 5 over 9 multiplied by the value of the function evaluated at x1, plus 8 over 9 multiplied by the value of the function evaluated at x2, plus 5 over 9 multiplied by the value of the function it's evaluated at x3. This is the function. Substitute x uh, with x1, x2, and x3, get the different values, substitute, and you'll get 41.1313, and you can see it's highly accurate with accuracy that is, uh, uh, with a relative error of 0 0.0009657. Again, with only three integration points, we're already getting very high uh, accuracy.